Okay, so this is part three of my BB-8 quadricopter. You can see it's coming together quite nicely. Got the upper part of the frame built, got the door built, the motor lifter, or the, the motor lifter for the prop, the servos for opening and closing the door. I have one servo burnt out on me, so we'll take a look at that too. So here we have BB-8 shell in its current state. Uh, this bottom piece is actually just a test corner, so you can see the top. I kind of like the pattern the way it came out. Just the way it looks with these cuts in the inside. I might try and emphasize some of those seams rather than try to match BB-8 perfectly just because I like the way they look. And this uh, shell is incredibly strong. I stood on this thing and it had no problem, you know, one foot here, one foot there. Absolutely no problem holding my weight on this dome. So it's rock solid. And you can see I started to get the motor lifter in there, the door on there. Fits roughly pretty close to right, so looks like the shell came out alright. A couple of things. So these clamps are temporarily holding in back braces on the corners. This big clamp here is actually holding a rubber band, which helps this door close all the way. I'll explain that in a moment. So let me go ahead and show you how it all works. Start by opening the door. Up now, whatever. There we go. So you can see here, have a rubber band to lift the door up this way, so it doesn't sag down right now. A couple other possibilities there. I could put a bearing here and attach the edge and that would hold it tight into the wall which would reduce the slop. A lot of the slop is coming from just the the holes being too big for these pins so hopefully once I get the 2.5 millimeter shafts it will fit together better. So now I can show you the lifter. The lifter is a winching servo makes a few turns. So let me start that guy up. So there's a pulley on the end and it lifts that motor right up into position. You can see the motor doesn't have its prop attached right now because I don't have a proper hub to use the shallow depth. It'll hit the door when the door tries to shut if I have a prop on with the wrong adapter. So I'll drop that guy back in. This test door, this test door you can see doesn't have the slot there. It might make it spring loaded so it just leans out. I'll have to see how well that works one of my possibilities. Either that or I'm going to use the a servo here to fold it out probably. Just have like a little square there and a little micro servo that just shoots it right out so I can lower the motor with the propellers back down into position and then you can see this rubber band holds the door vertically enough that it can seal properly. If I don't have the rubber band the bottom edge gets caught this plastic piece, and we have problems. You can hear the servos whine a lot. I'm going to replace the control boards with open servo control boards. That way I can see if they're stalling, and then I can shut them off completely once they're in position. This door, if it doesn't have a servo on it, will pull open quite easily. You can see it sags out. Another problem is if you press in here, since the, there's a brace right there, it'll try and pull that slide out. So, you need to have kind of active current on there to keep this door shut once it's rolling. And you can see this uh, door is actually bulged out a little bit too much. See at the bottom it's pressing it in, it's not making contact with the brace here. I'm actually not sure if I printed this brace with or without the extra bumper extent, so it could be fine. Um, to see how real well this door really fits, I'm going to have to print the whole bottom. I have more plastic coming in this week, so you get here Wednesday. And I have considered a couple other options for this storm mechanism, since really we don't need the full thing to open. I could put it solid to here and just hinge like this middle section this way, or maybe hinge it down. This is working okay though, so I might just leave it this way. Now let me get a couple shots from a couple different angles so you can see the mechanism in action.
one. This is the servo I fried. It's a high tech HS5065 Metal Gear. And the door latch was catching and was causing this to stall. So I'm just going to open it up and see what blew out. See if it was one of the MOSFETs or if it was the motor. So you can see the circuit board in here. I'm going to try and use the open servo circuit board on one of these. I'm going to replace this one. Hopefully I can repair it. It would be nice if it's the MOSFETs that are busted. That way I've just replaced the board with an open servo one. If it's the motor, I'll have to find one of these. So I'm just going to desolder the motor wires here. Okay, so hopefully you can see the end of the shaft there. I got five volts here. I'm going to feed into the motor directly. And it's one way. Try the other direction. You can see that it runs just fine until it hits its end stops. So it looks like I'll just replace this board here with the open servo board. I'm going to have to redesign it because it's meant for a full size motor and this is a micro. That will be I2C controlled and we'll be able to detect overcurrents with that board and that should work much better. Quick view. These are just beautiful metal gears. It'd be a shame to throw this out because of a busted electronic control unit. Okay, hope you all enjoyed that look at my BVA quadricopter project. I should have the bottom half of the frame printed out in about two weeks. That's when the next video will be. We'll see if I made any progress on the open servo boards or the electronic speed controllers for finally air rotating this prop motor so we can close it on the doors. Maybe I'll have made some design changes to the door mechanism. We'll see. And uh, things might go a little slow in this project. I was hoping to have it flying by the Star Wars premiere date, but it's turning out to be quite expensive. I'm thinking, I think I've already spent more than a thousand bucks and getting it flying is only going to cost more. So, catch you next time.